Okay, so we understand how this is working. Yeah. Let's build it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So you have the capacitor, and you know what? I forgot to, to draw the capacitor on the on the schematic. You can you can believe that? What do you mean you forgot to draw the capacitor? What did what did I said about the capacitors? You remember why we are uh, soldered the capacitor in the beginning? Oh wait. Yeah, you you, you said something. I said something. We yeah. we checked. Yeah, we. Oh. What will happen with the switching? It will escape on your circuit. It will yeah. modulate the power supply. And I said, you know what? We solder here from here, mm -hmm. yeah, a capacitor. Yeah. That's what I said. So in this way, we are smoothing the the output, uh, the, 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 the 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 main power rail. Yeah. So it will not modulate in amplitude our PWM signal generator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are building on the capacitor because it's easy, right? Okay. Let me bring you everything. Okay, so we have our box with things here. <laughs> so look what we have. This is nice. And if it's anyone interested on this, I really believe this is, is it's, it's making the whole money. I don't know, it was like 20, 20 pound. PWM generator, proper nice one. And I bought it because you can adjust it easily from here. Yeah. You can adjust everything from here. Mm -hmm. Proper nice one. Okay, so we need the output capacitor. I mean, you can use this one. It's 400 volts. It's not necessary. Well, yeah, you can use that one. You need a diode, right? Yeah, what about this one? It's not good. It's too big. What's the point to use a 10-amps diode? Uh, a smaller one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one? Yeah. A MOSFET, our MOSFET. And we have the load because we have to understand how the circuit is changing voltage on current. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we need anything more? Um. No. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. So we have the. But quick, yeah. Oh, quick, quick. Yeah, week. we are not wasting time. No, we don't have time. Um. I call. I don't know which one was the, um, the the gate, the source, and the drain. You don't remember? No. Okay, you can check the data sheet on the internet. Um. This one come here. Can this one come here? And plus and minus wires here. And plus and minus wires. Yeah. There. You go. So, um, data sheet for this. Okay, let's test it. We have the power supply here, 12 volts. Minus and plus. Good, so this is nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In order to start it, you have to push the button down. The, this no, one? this one, this one. Just push one. Yeah, oh. now it's on. And now okay. you can adjust the duty cycle. All right. But I want to see the, the, the... The light bulb? Yeah. Yeah. I adjust it. 
you have to spin many times around that thingy. He's spinning around. Mm-hmm. So wow. you can see? Yeah. 75, now go down. That's 24, just a bit. <laughs> it's working. Yeah. You can see? You made it. This is a DC this to DC back converter. Hmm? That's so cool. It is, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's connect something more serious, yeah? Mm. Because on this moment, I'm not convinced. Actually, I'm taking out more current than I put in. That's the idea of this circuit. Mm -hmm. Can I get more current compared with how much I put in? So we are putting in how much? Like 270 right now, right? Yeah. Because we don't have like high amperage load. So let's use this resistor, yeah, mm -hmm. to draw some current. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Let's solder this one. So we have the load here, mm -hmm. and we increase the current to 850 milliamps. You know what we're going to use? Mm. I'll show you. So here we have just, you what, know, what I don't... This? this? It's a ammeter. So you check the, the current. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Just by inserting the wire through this meter. Oh, wow. Check the current. I want you to tell me the current. Huh? So what is the current? So it's 253 milliamps? No. No. It's, it's 2.5 and you have the sign there what it is. Amps. Exactly. 2.5 amps. So how much you put in the circuit? Check there. 850 Milliamps. Yeah, and you take out how much? 2.6. 2.6 amps. Now you understand? Mm hmm I'm taking out more amps than I we put in. That's what this power supply is doing, and it's used this kind, not this specific design. And uh, and most of the most of you know devices on those they like laptops. Laptops they have a lot of uh, back converters. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, like two point five amps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With eight hundred and fifty milliamps. Yeah. Can we can we draw more current? That's the question. I want more. Huh? Wow. Check this. No, no. Be careful. Hmm? Yeah, it's hot. Proper hot. Let's draw more current. Yeah, this is a hundred watts uh, resistor. It will be even hotter. So check that how much current oh, it is. Oh, four point six. Yeah, four point six amps. And we are putting in like two amps. Yeah. So it's double. Yeah. And obviously we can uh, kind of adjust, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we can adjust the voltage. Let's say the voltage, yeah? So I want this kind of voltage, yeah? So if I yeah. want to draw more amps, all I have to do is to lower this resistance, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. So how much, how many amps are there? 3.4. With what input? That's the thing. Oh, with 580 milliamps. Like 600 milliamps and we are taking out 3.4 amps. Oh, wow. Now you understand? So with like 600 milliamps, we are getting out like 3.5. Mm -hmm. You can see? Yeah. Let's try to get more. Four. Four amps, five amps. Five amps. With five amps, so we like 1.6 amps there. Yeah. Six. Higher? Yeah, that's all. We can't get more. <laughs> yeah, but you put three three amps and you get six. Yeah. Remember the, what I told you? You trade the voltage for yeah. the current. Yeah. But we don't. We have like 12 volts, right? Mm hmm Okay. Now let's go high in voltage. Yeah, 19 volts, like in laptops. 
Mm-hmm. So we are getting what? Four amps? Four amps. Five, six, seven. Like seven amps, that's the limit. Seven amps with two, yeah. 2.6. Seven amps. I mean, we can do it. I mean, here we have a lot of voltage. That's the problem, mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, what we are looking is to trade the voltage for the current. So I want lower voltage at the output, but high current. Now you understand? So now we lower the resistance. Uh, 8.3 amps, 8.3 amps with like 2 amps on the... Yeah, 8 amps and we have like 2.7 amps on the input. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is <laughs> mad hot. So you understand how yeah. those uh, are working? Yep. Huh? Mm -hmm. Everything is clear? Yeah. Yeah? Good, good, good. Good, because next time I'm going to put some <laughs> questions. <laughs> This has a problem. Obviously, everything has a problem. What, what's and the problem? You'll, you, you don't know yet. No. But I risk like a big blow up here just to show you like actually I can get 8 amps out. You forgot actually I get 8 amps from where? From where do I get 8 amps on the schematic? So this circuit, yeah? Mm -hmm. This circuit, yeah? Pay attention here. Till here, till it's charging the coil, yeah. is max like how much it's in the power supply, like two, three amps, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this circuit, this circuit, it's a eight amps circuit. So the eight amps I got from here. Now, we, which is the weakest component on this circuit? The which is the weakest component? Where where do I lose a lot of current on this circuit? It's very the circuit is very simple, like this. Where do I lose a lot of current on this circuit? On the capacitor? No, on the capacitor. No. Uh, that capacitor is like zero ohms. You can forget. You don't lose anything there. Nearly anything. So where do you lose current? Oh, on the entire circuit. Yeah. Where do you lose the current? You lose on the on that MOSFET. I just told you this. This is the eight amps circuit. Yeah. Oh. This is the eight amps. This is giving you the output voltage and current. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This, not this. The MOSFET oh. is only used so to charge the coil. So, so you use the the current into the coil. Hmm. On the coil. Sorry. When you you release the current. Yeah. I just told you this diode is a 5 amps diode. I told you or not. Mm -hmm. So basically we are taking out 8 amps, yeah? Uh -huh. From using this diode, like 5 amps diode. All right. I didn't want to burn your fingers, but if you touch this diode, it's like mad hot. I really expect to explode, you know? <laughs> like getting 8 amps out. Oh, okay. So from the diode. The diode is the weakest point. The, the, the coil, yeah, again, is the weakest point weakest point because uh, the wire I mean this is not like I mean maybe you can do like yeah maybe up to 10 amps but you see the wire is not that thick mm -hmm. yeah but we're gonna learn about this on the next lesson yeah okay good